What's good, everybody? You coming over here for the Zestava Arms ZPAP M70? Stick around, we're gonna get right to it. All right, so by now you've seen the clips of me uh, shooting it, just a little mini clip or whatever I posted. Um, but like I said in the title, this is my first AK-47. Uh, don't get on me uh, in the comments. I know it's not an AK-47. I know it's not made by Glushnikov. Uh, this is made by Stop by Zestop Arms, and it's the M70. Yes, I know. That's for people who don't know the difference between names, and they see this and just see AK-47 in their brain. So don't go in the comments thinking you're the top shit. You're not, buddy. Um, so uh, let's get to it. The reason why I bought the Sestava Arms M70 is it really caught my eye the most. Um, when I went and bought this locally, uh, they had the Riley Defense. Uh, they had uh, PSA. I think they had the GF-103, whatever. They had the GF-3, um, Riley Defense GF-3, uh, Kalishnikov. Um and then Zestavas, uh, but all variants. Uh, wasn't really a big fan of any of them, especially the wood ones. I'll never own a wood AK-47. Um, well, I never will pay for one. I own one. But uh, but out of my dollars, I paid a little bit over a thousand for this. Um, but all day, every day, I'll pay for this just because all black uh, came with the adjustable stock. Doesn't have that nasty wood grip. This is actually like a rubber made by Hogue USA. And then Zestava makes a mount for uh, optics. Uh, I'll show you right here. Uh, the mount uh, cost me $100. Not too bad. And then I put a primary arms, three times uh, prism on, on it. Uh, so uh, other than that, um, she runs pretty fine. Uh, right now, I think I have about 100 rounds in my can. I bought 1,000 for it about a month ago. So we've been running it pretty hard. Um, I took this to Texas and I blew the living hell out of it. And, um, I had the time of my life. I actually have more fun shooting this than my ARs. So, yeah. So right now I'm about to tell you a little bit about some facts about it. Um, this, uh, the Sestavas have 14 different variants, uh, believe it or not. So the M70 plus 13 other different versions. So like under folders, grenaders, shorter versions, maybe longer versions, uh, 308s, et cetera, et cetera. Believe it or not, the M70 has been in 18 different wars, uh, which is including the Ukrainian war. So uh, maybe I think this has uh, more combat experience than the M4, um, but don't quote me on that. Um, also, um, when they come into America, they're also single stacked. So what Zestava Arms does is when they when they get them, they take they um they drill it out, mill it out, whatever the terminology is for it, and turn it from a single stack from whatever regulations you have to import firearms. And then once it gets to the U.S. Uh, company, they uh, make it a double stack. What else? Um, this was made in 1970. They started designing it around like 1965. Um, they're still making them to this day, obviously. Uh, mine was made like uh, like a year ago. I forgot what the day was. You can look them up. Um, the Zestava uh, Z-Pabs shoot around 600 to 650 rounds per minute. Um, what else? What else do I have around here? Um, it's only effective to what they say on the internet, uh, the Zestava. Uh, it's only effective for about 300 and 350 meters, or uh, it's about uh, 380, 390 yards. Um, what else? The muzzle velocity uh, average, you know, you can get different rounds, so it's not going to be uh, the same every time. It's uh, 240, uh, 2,400 fuck, feet per second. I can't fucking think right now. It's four in the morning. Um, other than that, based on what I've seen, I would not change a single thing out of this, like at all. The trigger's great. Make sure you see it's uh, safe. On I mean, not safety. It's uh, empty. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the trigger just a little bit. My neighbors hate me. Like I said, it's four in the morning, so we got the trigger pull. Now let me see if I can show you a little bit better. We got the trigger pull. We got reset. And 
and gen- that that's better than a <laughs> mil spec three and a half, five and a half pound AR trigger. And this is straight out the box. Speaking of straight out the box, let me show you what the box it comes in. So when you buy it, it comes in this thick, thick plastic. Um, I don't know what that's meant for. Uh, also, when you get it, it smells like a fresh oiled fishing rod or fishing rib. And if you fish and you got that weird smell that you enjoy, you know what it is. And I just was smelling the fuck out of it. I'm weird as fuck, I know. And uh, it was just so good smelling. But I, I shot it and I oiled it and it's gone now, sadly. <clears throat> But here's the box it comes in. It's nothing too fancy. If you order from PSA or anything like that, you know, this just a simple box. It has some writing in it. I want to I want to say it's from uh, Serbian or whatever cuz that's where they come from. They're from Serbia. Uh originally they came from Yugoslavia. Uh, I'm not too smart about that, but you know, Yugoslavia broke up into multiple countries, which is Serbia now where they are. And uh I'm still getting off topic. But uh, here are here's what it comes in. Comes in that thick plastic, like I said. Comes with a a manual that you know no one really reads. And then yeah, super simple, sweet, right? Honestly, personally, this rifle is a good rifle. Like period. Uh, honestly, it'll last you forever. Cold hammer forged. So you could fucking throw it in dirt, throw it in mud, throw it in water. It's going to fucking run as soon as you pick it up. I mean, unless you have like serious debris, I recommend anyone to get this before uh, a GF3 if you have the money for it. But uh, if you get the money for it, don't have the money for it, I would recommend a GF3 before I recommend a Riley Defense or, uh, well, Klishnikov doesn't make anything like that budget. Um, other than that, I'm really just rambling. Uh, let me just tell you my pros and cons here. Pros and cons. The only two cons that I really have is the handguards. Uh, I don't know what different handguards they make, but I enjoy this rubber grip handguard and the fact that I can't have different attachments. Like I would like a grip, you know, to see clamp it a little bit. I can't. I would have to exchange this handguard out and get something like a Midwest Industries and stuff. And then I'm just not a fan of that right now because uh, I was shooting this. I had like two, three hundred rounds in at the range in Texas. And I didn't feel heat at all just because of this, this rubber. I saw it smoking and all that. But two, three hundred rounds in with an AR-15, you're burning your fucking hands off. Like, you know, like, let's be let's be real unless you have a wrap. So other than that, uh, pros. Oh, I'm so on uh, cons, actually. What I have noticed is my safety uh, fire selection is stiff as fuck. Uh, sorry for the language, but I shot my boy Mix. And he has a GF-104, and his shit was butter. Yo, shout out to Mick, by the way. I'll put y'all in, put him in here. Y'all make sure y'all go follow that, man. But um, my shit is stiff. Like, I'm mad jealous of his shit. So, like, normally when you, for you writers, you just go, go up and down. I'll tell you that it's clear. I have to physically fucking, like, tug this shit up, tug it down. And then sometimes I'm over manhandle it because I actually got to, and it does that. Perfect example. Look at that. It's going past the receiver. You ever see it do that? That's the only con I really, really have. Cause, cause, and then sometimes I'll do that. See that? So, um, even though I don't put this on safety, uh, for people who wouldn't want to put this on safety other than me that bought this, I would see that as a big ass bummer because, like, like, they wouldn't know what to do. Or have to freak out doing that, and uh, anyway, see, it's just I probably can peel it back and stop it, but out the box, it shouldn't be doing that. But, but honestly, but this is my safety. Let's be let's be real. Um, big pros, like I said, the optic mount handguard is beautiful. Uh, stock is greater, uh, and this interchange how you can able to change your muzzle devices. Like this, like AR needs to adapt this. You can just press this detent down. I don't think I can show you on YouTube, actually. You press that detent down, it unscrews, you put your shit back in, and then it just, you just twist, you can hear it pop, and it stays. That's the best fucking thing I've ever dealt with in my life. 
So I, I do plan on getting this suppressed. Um, I'm going to get a flow-through suppressor for it. I got a 30 cal back there, but I don't think I'm going to run it through that. Um, I'm going to have something threaded and directed for this. Um, other than that, I recommend getting the ZPAP. No other AK, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe, no, I really don't recommend any other AK. I've shot different mutants, different AKs. This one, this one takes the cake. I plan on getting the bigger ZPAP, uh, the M77, the 1 and 308. I think GHG has it or Rambo J. One of them have it. Um, they're cutting shit with it. And uh, other than that, yeah, I'm going to roll some footage of me shooting it. And yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow, share this to people who also looking to get into this uh, ZPAP. And uh, yeah, show some love. Cielo loves you if you love me. Peace. Damn, someone just hit me in my fuck. Grip it, so I'm over here. Oh, wobble with my